what was the Los Angeles Chargers and Brandon Staley's strategy yesterday? Do you think? Well, I think I think um, I think keeping their players sharp going into the postseason, which I don't, you know, I know it's so easy to hindsight this thing and say, you know, and I've questioned a lot of stuff Brandon Staley's done. It's so easy to say, oh, well, look what you did. You know, you got these guys hurt. You know, I, I saw people get tackled like Mike Williams got tackled a hundred times on Sunday. I know that you've got an injury history. I know that Bosa, that injury is, I don't know, people are speculating he's not hurt, um, but I've heard he's hurt. Uh, Kenneth Walker, I think, at least. The bottom line is, like, Cowboys kept people in longer than you might have. Uh, you might have preferred. The Eagles had a lot of players in that game late, and I know that thing – you know, got a little tighter than you wanted it to. There's some statistic, and I will blame my producer if this is wrong, but, um, you know, over the, over the last the course of the last uh, bunch of games that a team had a choice where they rest their starters going into the playoffs, um, most of the time that does not go very well for that, for that team. Um, and I've been on teams where we had a bye, um, I've seen teams that have had buys, especially offensively, come out sluggish and, and, and without, you know, great energy or not executing because it's been two weeks since they took snaps. And um, I think it's easy to hindsight this thing, but I'm not going to get on a soapbox this morning about football players playing football. Um, I think there's an art to it, and I think it, you, you have to decide at what point in the game do you take those guys out. Right. Uh, but I have no problem with playing guys so that they get reps and stay sharp. The Chargers just got good. Like, that's another thing. They're just starting to play like a good football team. It's not like a situation where you've had this well-oiled machine all season long. Like, you need the work. You need some of the work. Um, now the, the question becomes, like, how much of the work do you need? And at what point have you passed that point of diminishing return where it's time to get guys the hell out of the ball game? So it's easy to hindsight it. I'm not going to do it. Um, the thing that sucks for them is they have a short week, and uh, predictably, AFC South is going to play on Saturday. Uh, I think in the eight <laughs> fifteen slot, but but that's um, yes. right, and that's uh, that's going to be a good football game. But they got to travel across the country, man, with with some of these injuries they've had, and uh, and it's tough. Yeah, I mean, by the way, the first AFC South team champion that plays on a Sunday of wild card weekend or now even a Monday that that'll be a monumental achievement I agree with you and it was kind of a surprise yeah. that it was a, the late window normally that's the that you could book that for the first window of wild card weekend AFC South champ versus fill in the blank you know but uh that said too late for me to second guess uh, to say I'm not second guessing uh, I did earlier on in the program but by half in a way uh of what you just said Look, when, when the Chargers put 14 up on the board, where you, you got the juices flowing. Get them out of there. I mean, certainly yeah, if you're yeah, also the head coach, yeah. and, and again, I, it's, I, if anybody knows how difficult it is to be a head coach in the league, I've, I've been around. I, I, I'm, I'm loath to criticize. But if you're also a coach who doesn't play anybody in the preseason at all, like you're willing to that's, come out of that, the gate. That's the, that's the part. You know? Yeah, that's the like, part for me. What but, are we doing? Yeah. Like, that, yeah, no, it, you got to you got to get guys out of there once you get them to work, you know. And there's some people that tell you like don't play guys at all and that sort of thing. I don't prescribe to that, um, but I think the context of how you've been playing, what you need or what you don't need to happen, um, and obviously they didn't need anything to happen at that point. Um, it, then it just becomes about execution. But once you have that execution and the juices are flowing, yeah, it's time to get guys out of the game. Um, but as far as playing guys, period, in situations like this, I've always been a fan, and I said it last week, of playing guys, you know, when you can. Um, that doesn't mean they got to play 60 minutes or 60 snaps, uh, but you got to play guys when you can, in my opinion, and I think the numbers back that up. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.